This is my boat, Narrowboat Avalon, and I live on the River Nen. I'm always very greedy when I say this is my river, the River Nen is my river. And the reason why I say that is because I feel at peace and it's a nice place to come and relax, walk along the river's edge, look out for wildlife. And when the sun is shining like today, it's absolutely beautiful. And lots and lots of people use it for recreation. They use the river for walking along. They use the river for paddle boarding or boating, just like I do. There are many boats of different shapes and sizes on the river. Along the river then, there's lots of different footpaths and walks that you can take. In the winter or after heavy spells of rain, it is not uncommon to see the river then in flood. The river is effectively closed for navigation. Behind me is an amazing piece of engineering. It's one of the locks that you will find along the River Nen. There are 38 locks between Northampton and Peterborough and I'm shouting because we've had lots and lots of rain and the water is just running down through the lock and the locks are actually used to control the flow of water when the river is in flood, just like now. I am at the Northampton's Wetlands, an artificial lake that has been made to cope with any flood water. It is also a nature reserve. Many migrating birds settle here during the winter time. Like these very rare Egyptian geese, they stay here in the winter and then they fly back to Egypt. This structure behind me is seriously impressive. It's the Northampton Washlands mains control and it controls the flow of the water. When the river is in flood, it controls the, the flow of water down the rest of the River Nen all the way to Peterborough and out to the sea. This is so, so important. Even with the flood defences and the precautions, the river still does flood from time to time. All the way up and down the River Nen are flood meadows, and this is a prime example at Denford, just outside Thrapston. This is a great example of flood control and how it works in real time. It truly is a winter wonderland here on the Nen, and I've got my friends with me. Hello. Oh, I love these horses, they're so gorgeous. Winters on the River Nen tend to be wetter rather than snowy or frosty. Narrowboat Avalon. Spring is a magical time of year. It's a time of year that everything is waking up and nature is waking up from its winter slumber. It is undoubtedly one of my favourite times of year. This is the time of year where all the animals come back out, everything comes to life, everything starts flowering, nature is doing its thing and it's absolutely lovely. It's always a beautiful time on the river. I also love the misty mornings and in the springtime you get some beautiful misty mornings and some magical, magical times on the river. It is a wonderful time to come and explore the River Nen. The river really is waking up as it meanders through the contours of the landscape. It's no wonder why many early settlers decided to call the River Nen their home, from the Romans to the Saxons to the Bronze Age and Iron Age. So what animals can you recognise and identify? My favourite animal or bird has to be the Kingfisher, the majestic Kingfisher in its blue and its red plumage. It's absolutely beautiful and very, very hard to spot. But when you do spot this enigmatic bird, it is amazing. It's the best feeling ever to be able to see one of these in real life.
Sometimes to see this wildlife you have to be up before dawn, just like I'm doing here. I'm crazy. So many varieties of animals call the Nen Valley their home, and I'm happy to share it with them. Lots and lots of people are attracted to the River Nen during the summertime. And why not? Because we've got hot weather, we have beautiful sunshine, and the water is blue, it is so inviting. And of course that invites all manner of recreational craft to use the river. We have narrow boats, we have canal cruisers, we have dinghies, kayaks, canoes, and we have paddle boarders as well. We even have swimmers in some parts of the river. It is beautiful and of course there are still those wildlife havens so if you want to go off the beaten track and look for that wildlife you can still do that. You can find a nice secluded spot for having a picnic or you can find one of the many country parks that line the river such as Stanick Lakes or you've got Barnwell Country Park, Ferry Meadows Park at Peterborough There is a famous story called Wind in the Willows and Ratty, one of the characters, said to Mole, there is nothing better than messing about on boats. It is said that the author Kenneth Graham drew inspiration from his stay at Elton Hall and Elton Hall is on the River Nen. The Nen Valley itself is actually becoming increasingly more popular, especially during the summer months with holiday makers. Here I am securing up good old Teasel because we are just about to go down one of the locks. Can you remember how many locks were on the River Nen? Summer is the season of the Mayfly and you can see them dancing in the air. This spectacle only happens for two days during the summer. This is a special handle called a windlass and I use this to open the paddles which helps rise the water and makes the water level ready for me to steer the boat through. Once the water is level I need to open the lock gates. These can be quite heavy and difficult to manoeuvre. Very carefully I need to steer the boat into the lock and then close the gates behind me.
Once the gates are closed, you can see here that I am now operating the guillotine and that is rising and the water is then dropping. Now that good old Teza was at the level that I wanted her to be, then we can continue further downstream. Cricket-backed willow trees are grown along the banks of the River Nen, and during the summer they drop their seeds, and it's a magical sight. Have you ever seen snow in July? Because that's exactly what it looks like. It is mesmerising. And you only have a short window of opportunity to witness this spectacle. Conditions have to be just right for the willows to drop their seeds. Slowly and steadily, following the twists and the turns of the river, I make my way back to the marina, where I moor Teasel. A marina is a place where you keep boats, and there are three main marinas on the River Nen. Summer is one of my favourite seasons to watch badgers coming out of their dens, especially the young ones. Cautiously sniffing the air as they come out of their dens, they have a whole new world to explore. Autumn is known as the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. Can you see Rosie and Jim in the background there? I think they'll agree that autumn is the best time of year on the River Nen. It's brilliant, it's just so amazing. The colours are beautiful, the trees are all turning. You get those beautiful golden colours, the yellows, the oranges, the reds on the trees. It's absolutely amazing. You get the beautiful crisp mornings as well and the mist is rising. It is by far my favourite time of year on the river. As the colours change in the leaves and the air takes on a crispness, the River Nen is a beautiful place. From source to sea, the River Nen is approximately 130 miles long, with 65 miles, roughly, of navigable waterway. There are two main tributaries that flow into the River Nen, the River Eyes and Harpers Brook. And of course, it's harvest time, so all the farmers are gathering their crops and the animals are actually busy gathering their food, stocking up for the winter as well. So it's a really good time again for wildlife, to see lots and lots of wildlife. And if you're lucky in autumn, it's a really good time to go spotting otters on the river.
listen out for those distinctive squeaks you can hear the squeaks you can hear them before you see them but if you're lucky you will catch a glimpse of the river nent otters A great grey heron stands still in the reeds. He is an expert at fishing. for rivers and we can all do our bit by taking rubbish home with us such as plastic like this which can break down into microplastics and eventually flow out to sea with the flow of the river and then that then causes a problem to the ecosystem within our oceans so take your rubbish home with you and do your bit This is called a murmuration. It's where thousands and thousands of starlings gather together for safety. They group together like this to evade predators. One such bird of prey is the beautiful red kite, which is quite common along the River Nen. <laughs> 